Hi, I'm Giri with AWS. In this video, I will walk you through our demo application that showcases the capabilities of the Amazon Chime SDK. These include audio calling, video calling, and screen sharing. I will also show you how to configure and run the application. This demo runs a Node.js server to host the backend server application, which integrates the AWS SDK to create and manage meeting resources. It also serves requests from a web application that provides a meetings user interface built using the JavaScript client SDK. To start off, create an IAM user configured with the right policies to perform the meeting operations. Then copy its key ID and access key and paste it in the shared credentials file. Now that an IAM user credentials are configured, let's look at the server-side source code of our demo application. This is where the request to create a new audio and video meeting session is received. In your production server application, you can authenticate and authorize the user trying to start the meeting session here. After this, we use the create meeting method in the AWS SDK to create a new meeting resource with a client request token parameter. This uniquely identifies it. There are other optional parameters to choose the region of the meeting and the real-time meeting event notification mechanisms. These could be the Amazon resource name identifier of a simple queuing service queue or a simple notification service topic. You can also use Amazon Event Bridge in your own AWS account for receiving these events. In response to the create meeting call, the application will receive a meeting resource object that has a unique meeting ID, the AWS region that you selected, and a set of media URLs that the web application will use to join the meeting session. Once a meeting resource is successfully created, the application calls the create attendee method that accepts the meeting ID and an external user ID as parameter. In response to this method call, an attendee object is returned, which has a unique system generated attendee ID the external user ID that was passed earlier, and a join token. The join token provides meeting access to the attendee for the duration of the meeting. The meeting ID, attendee ID, and join token, along with the media URLs, are then passed back to the web application in response to the create meeting session request. In the web application, we start by creating a new meeting session object and passing the meeting session configuration. The meeting session configuration contains the meeting ID, meeting credentials, and media URLs. The meeting credentials include the attendee ID of the user joining the meeting and the corresponding join token. In addition to the meeting session configuration, you can also pass in a logger and a device controller implementation. The client-side SDK provides a default device controller implementation to manage the audio and video devices available through the browser APIs. Once the meeting session is created successfully, you can access the audio screen share and screen share view facades to start media streams, perform operations, and register for callbacks. The real-time event callbacks can be used to indicate who is in the meeting, their volume levels, show who is contributing audio or is muted, and who is the active speaker. To run the demo application, type npm run start command in the demo folder. This brings in the necessary npm packages and starts the local Node.js server with the server application. You can now navigate the localhost URL that is displayed in the terminal in the browser. The demo application will start in a meeting join screen where you can choose a meeting name that will be used as a client token to uniquely identify the meeting and an external attendee ID that uniquely represents the attendee. When you hit continue, it triggers the API call on the local Node.js server application to create the meeting and the attendee. This screen uses the device controller interface to choose the input and output devices and see a local preview of the video. When you hit join, the audio video facade start method is invoked to start the audio video streams. When the connection is successful, the user transitions to the in-meeting screen that has a real-time roster of attendees with volume indicators. There are also mute-unmute controls as well as the ability to switch the audio input and output devices during the call. User can click the video button to start their video and view videos from other attendees. 
The video tiles can be arranged and sized as needed and can scale to a 720p high definition resolution. Video capture devices can also be switched during the meeting session. The screen share control brings up the browser screen share picker and provides a local preview of it. The screen viewing area can be zoomed in and out to focus on a specific area of the screen. Finally, the user can use the exit button to leave the meeting or end the meeting by hitting the end meeting button. As you just saw, you can quickly build powerful real-time communication capabilities in your applications using the Amazon Chime SDK and provide your customers with engaging in-app experiences. To learn more or get started, visit the Amazon Chime SDK documentation page or find the Amazon Chime SDK on GitHub. Thank you.